In the distant expanse of the future, humanity ascends to the rank of a Type II civilization, embarking on a grand odyssey to colonize the far reaches of the Milky Way galaxy. Across this expansive voyage, the diverse environments of these distant worlds subtly transform and mold us into a tapestry of evolved forms. Earth, once our bustling epicenter, now stands as a sacred haven cradling but a handful of souls. Once every million years, the myriad branches of humanity reconverge upon Earth's hallowed grounds. Here, amidst the ancient echoes of our origin, a symposium of thought commences, a celestial exchange of newfound wisdom garnered over epochs. Yet, the forthcoming convergence bears a unique significance, as the celestial ballet brings Andromeda's galaxy close enough for interstellar bridges to span the cosmic seas. An enigmatic species from afar prepares to greet us. From their distant vantage point, these observers from the Andromeda galaxy have quietly watched humanity's epic narrative unfold. Akin to distant stargazers, their fascination intertwined with the tales woven through the human spirit and manifested in our creative expressions. A profound yearning stirs within them, as eons of curiosity culminate in the prospect of engagement. United by anticipation and cloaked in symbols of unity, the Andromedans stand poised to join the convocation. Through meticulously crafted masks inspired by humanity's earliest artistic endeavors, they extend a gesture of amity and reverence. These masks, a bridge across the temporal divide, symbolize an appreciation for the journey we embarked upon from our humble beginnings. As the time draws near, the convergence of species transcends mere geography. It emerges as a testament to the ceaseless quest for knowledge and connection that binds separate corners of the universe. The sanctuary of Earth, untouched by time's ceaseless march, stands as a fulcrum of shared destiny, where the past intertwines with the future in an unparalleled cosmic rhapsody. Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. This week we got the most exciting video that I can that, that I could do. I'm doing a 10 Hung collab. It's so exciting to do this. So in this series, if you haven't seen it yet or understand what's going on, a piece gets traveled all around the world to a bunch of different YouTubers. They just have to send it to YouTubers with less subscribers than them. So excited because I'm in the lower half, but there's still room for like four or five more artists on this thing. I know the prologue was mad long, but I really wanted to tie in the piece. I wanted to have a story. We've got the all of the Milky Way. They already have all of these different species and whatnot, and then we're getting close to Andromeda, so the Andromedas, we can like actually have a, a dialogue with them, and that's pretty cool that these, my characters are the, you know, Andromedans coming down, and like all the other artists that are part of the Milky Way. I, I don't know, I thought it was cool, yeah. You got the, the <laughs> Sorry, it was bad luck. I, I, I thought it was cool though. Anyway, I don't want to hold you guys up anymore, so let's get right into this project. It's gonna be a crazy ride. <laughs> I think it's time to get to work. All right, so there's a couple things I gotta do here. First, I need to make up a concept and make a sketch in Procreate. Then I got to take it and transfer it with transfer paper over to the wood. After that, I'm going to go ahead and work on the background. Then I'm going to use a stencil and do a spray pattern onto the wood. Then I'm going to go ahead and work on the border. I wanted to kind of make it uniform with what Bam already did. Then I'm going to go ahead and work on the gold leaf. After that, then we're going to go ahead and work on the fabric and getting those pieces down. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint those tentacles. After that, we're going to move over to painting the mask and starting the background border. I love this piece so much because it's such a combination of like all of my go-tos. If you look at my old videos, you'll see I love using like multimedia type stuff, you know, using the fabric, using the gold leaf, using the pattern in the background, using a uh, <laughs> stormtrooper helmet. I don't know how many times I've painted that. And it's a combination of like all the things that I love, like video games, anime, like movies and like all that just nerd shit. <laughs> 
I really feel like this like touched on a lot of my things, you know, with the octopus tentacles and the uh, stormtroopers, kind of like my very first video, and that was all done on purpose. So, <laughs> looks dope, huh? Looks real freaking dope. I was gonna go ahead and put it on the painting. <laughs> Went to put it on, and then I realized I painted it upside down. Um, I reached out to Ten Hun, and he said, you know, put. <laughs> I hope it makes it to the video, so. Yeah, all of that work that you guys just saw me do is all about to get um, redone. I'm gonna have to sand it down. I actually had to buy a brand new sander just because of this mess up. But I mean, I guess I got a <laughs> hand sander now. And also the fabric that I got, it was the only sheet that I had. <laughs> So I had to buy a whole new set of fabric. When I realized this, um, I was very, very, very upset. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I screamed, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> you know. And then I reached out to you guys um, and the amount of people just saying, don't worry about it, kind words and all of those things, you know, they really helped. So let's get back into this thing and let's do it better this time. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it better this time. All right, guys, so I kind of want to talk about some of the things that I want to do differently. Doing it one time, you really helped. I mean, you do it once and procreate, but there's nothing like actually doing it with the materials and whatnot. So a few things that I wanted to change. One was don't go in with that gold leaf in the background. I don't know what I was thinking on that, but go heavier on the eyes. Make sure that I do that better. I wanted to also make sure to cut the fabric a little bit thinner because or when it's too close up to it, it just doesn't doesn't look right so I wanted to make that a little bit thinner also changed the color of the tentacle sucky little things I wanted to make sure that those were a little bit darker in the beginning and then look like really bright with the sucky parts and do those before doing the fabric as well because I noticed that it was kind of a pain in the ass you know painting it I wanted to make sure that I toned down like that background design too I didn't want to have that background pattern be so present I feel like it was a little bit too busy plus I wanted to save some room so maybe some other artist gets on there and like paint some stuff like in between there too you know to kind of tie it in that's like one of the reasons that I spent so much time kind of making up like a story to go with it was because I wanted to I really wanted to tie my piece in and I feel like a story is a great way like when you look at a painting and see a story or you know, hear some like inspiration I think it's really cool I think it really kind of makes the piece in a way I really wanted to stick to the colors too that were already there to kind of have a little bit of harmony. I know there's not too much gold. There's a little bit of like, you know, yellow inside of stuff like Christian Black Bean's character, which I love so much. That, man, he's just a good YouTuber. I love that dude. Like, Christian, you, you, the, you the one, man. Straight up, you are the one. And yeah, everybody, you know, Curry Goat too, killed it. Oh my God. I want, you know, I really wanted my piece to fit in with these other pieces too. Like, it was it meant a lot to me, it really meant a lot to me. And doing it the second time really feels like I've refined it and like really gotten in there. Uh, I did quite a few things differently in the second go around. I think you see it in the end product. You know, I was really upset about doing it the second time, but you know what I realized is like, I have fun making this piece. So at first I'm up to like, oh, I gotta do the work over again. Now I'm kind of just like, sweet i get to do the work over again because like in it i was like oh my god i was so i was excited just like i was when i first started it if not more just because uh i wasn't like you know hung up like oh what do i do next you know <laughs> so i sounded in my ear be like, <laughs> But also like to like start a series of these Andromedans. I think it'd be kind of cool to use different fabrics and you know different like color schemes and like keep the background like you know maybe even do one with the busier background just because it'd be like its own piece. I think that'd be 
cool. Like, it's always good when you can jump into a piece and start, like, learning new things or get to be excited about new things again. Like, that's the jammy jam jammy of the wall jams, I promise you. <laughs> I don't want to make this video forever for you guys, so let's go ahead and wrap this thing on up so we can get into the outro and so you can figure out who's next. <laughs> oh, man, I am so excited. Oh, yeah. Uh, the person that uh, is going to be next in this collab just dropped a new video today and uh, it's, it's so dope. I can't wait to see what they do on this collab. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get this thing. Alright guys, and with that, that's going to be another video. D Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we can't do that. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, so let's get right into it. The next artist is going to be... Hi, this is Shuzi. Thank you so much, Chuck, for giving me this fantastic opportunity to be part of this amazing project. This is so exciting. I can't believe this is happening. I love watercolor and I'm also a big fan of anime. So I've been trying to find a way to infuse the two to develop my own art style. Now it's gonna be difficult to put watercolor on wood panel, especially when there are so many amazing artwork on there already. I am a bit nervous, but I'm also super excited. I'm up for the challenge and I can't wait to get started. Yo, I am so excited for you guys to check out Shuzi. Like, oh my God, like all of her stuff is so dope. And you know, another reason why I chose her was because you know, this like piece has gone to so many different like different, like people, so many different cultures. And also too, it's nice to have like a few females on the collab too. Sometimes like these collabs are lacking of like the females and I love all the females that have been a part of all the rest of them and whatnot. And it's cool that we have a couple, quite a few on this one. So, you know, very excited about that. And when I found Shuzi, she didn't have as many subscribers she does now so y'all don't come for me please but i think you guys are gonna really enjoy what she does with this piece because i think she's already got quite a few ideas stirring so hats off there was also a few youtubers that had not that many subscribers but i look up to like some of these guys like that i was like looking into so i wanted to just like friendly like you know mention them as well so on the screen you will see a few youtubers uh, that i would love to see this painting like eventually get to when he, when he starts getting down to those lower numbers because I think that they would absolutely kill it. Shoesy, you can do whatever you want or any artist, any artist after Shoesy, please do whatever you want. But if you're looking, maybe you'll come back and say, maybe one of those guys could actually, you know, kill it for that, you know, that last little run of this project. Peace and so much love in the world to you and yours. And uh, hopefully you guys stick around. Hopefully you guys come back and see what's next because like this painting was just an, like a, another step in the evolution of my style and I hope you guys stay in. I hope you guys go on this journey with me. I love every single one of y'all. I love you, Tan Hun. I love you, person that's watching. I love you, mama. I love you, Katie Cakes. And I love my Bebop. And I'll catch y'all next time for some most sweet stuff.